My name is Deidre. I've been in this ministry for about two years. In 2016, I was at work and I was assisting a patient to get them up from the chair. And whenever they had stood up, they lost their balance and kind of fell forward into me. I pushed him back a little bit so he wouldn't fall. But unfortunately, when I did that, I threw my back out. I ended up actually seeing a chiropractor in the West Virginia area because that's where I was living at the time. He was explaining to me that he was seeing some scoliosis on my x-ray, which I didn't even know I had. So that first week when I saw him, I had to go through two treatments just to get a little bit of relief. Most visits just for the chiropractic care alone, just very expensive. I'd have relief for maybe a day, even just taking ibuprofen to kind of ease some of the pain. But I know it was just really affecting my sleep. I was waking up in the middle of the night. I was tossing and turning a lot. So I was living with pain every single day in my back. I know that I was dealing with a lot of depression during that time, a lot of oppression. After service one night, I had went up for prayer and Pastor Michael had prayed for me. And the Lord started revealing to him that I had a curvature. And the Lord was showing him exactly where it was. And he was saying that the Lord was showing him that I was gonna receive healing and it was gonna be an amazing miracle. I felt prompted to take pictures of my back because I just knew that the Lord was gonna heal me. And so I took that picture of my back. It clearly showed the S curve that was there. And shortly after that, I stopped going to the chiropractor. I stopped getting massages. And it was really just me making a statement and saying, Lord, I don't want to depend on my chiropractor or my massage therapist. Clearly what I was receiving was only putting a temporary Band-Aid. And I know that you were the one that brings real healing and real deliverance. But at the time, I was definitely going through a battle in my mind and crying out to the Lord. And he was showing me that I could keep crying out to him and keep asking for healing in my physical body. But he kept bringing me back to something that was about our soul getting healed and how if our soul gets healed, then our physical body is gonna follow with that. And even in the Word, it talks about that. It says that we're gonna be transformed when we renew our minds. It says that in Romans. I just began to stand on that Word and declaring that the Lord was going to heal me by renewing my mind in the truth. And it wasn't just gonna be from, Lord, heal me of scoliosis. It was gonna be through me pressing in, spending time in prayer, spending time in the Word, and really asking Him to reveal why is my spine crooked? And the things that go on in our physical body are showing us things that are going on in our soul, and that's what I've learned through Pastor Mike. It wasn't just learning a history book, it was all about digging into the Word and asking the Lord to show me more about myself in that word. And as I pressed in, the Lord was showing me how, you know, my spine was crooked and twisted, and the Lord was bringing me into a right understanding of His word. He was bringing me back to a deeper understanding. And because of that revelation, I started to see changes in my walk, the way I was handling situations. And the Lord was showing me that He was really starting to heal the inside of me. And before I knew it, I remember one day thinking, I haven't had any pain or discomfort and it's been a few weeks. And that day I ended up taking a picture of my back and I remember the first time I looked at that photo, I was so like blown away. My spine was so straight in that picture and I pulled up my phone and I flipped back to the original photo and it was such a difference. My first picture was so curved and S-curved and this picture was so straight. And I remember just being so grateful and thankful for that intimate time that I got to spend with the Lord. The healing couldn't just happen on the outside, that healing was happening on the inside and coming out. And that's why my, my spine got healed, is because the inside of me got healed first. But there was just no way to get around it because there's the before and after. And not only have I received physical healing in my back from scoliosis, but I've also received healing in my soul. Amen.
Hang up this will be a smile. Okay? It's more you, so uh, <laughs> it's okay to smile. It's a good thing. Okay.